are often envious of others or believe that others are envious of him or her. Can you explain the difference between envy and jealousy? Oh, sure. Yeah, because this one often comes up when we talk about this. But envy is basically looking at what you don't have and wishing that you did have that. Whereas jealousy is you have something and you're trying to protect it. So this is why in relationship uh, we can often be jealous is because we have something we value and we fear losing that thing we value. Whereas envy is the complete opposite where it's like that thing out there is valued but you don't have it and so you get upset about the other person having it mm -hmm. and you don't. And so when it comes to narcissism, um, they tend to be envious of others because it looks like they have better supply. Right? It's like, oh, if only I could attain that thing. This is where that entitlement and expectation and everything go, rises up yeah. to some degree. And the more that the expectation goes up and is unfulfilled, of course, the more discontentment uh, they experience. That just speaks to, to this inability to truly be happy for another person. And uh, within this too, there's um, a real sense of uh, competition and needing to win. Yes. Right? Again. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Again, competition is huge for the narcissist. Mm -hmm. Like almost everything is it's a competition com because mm -hmm. everything is a comparison. Mm -hmm. And two, if they can make somebody feel envious about them in some way, they're winning. I was going to say too, bringing it back to the neo-narcissist's take on envy, I think social media, as you said, plays a huge part in it because mm -hmm. of how you can go on there and be envious of anybody in the whole entire world. Mm -hmm. Like the feed of that is unlimited. Yeah. And on the flip side, you can post anything and make it look real mm -hmm. to get the envy for yourself as well. Mm -hmm. Again, like if they're feeling envious of others, it, it creates that momentum to to create a new reality mm -hmm. and so if you get caught up in that like it feels like that's the snowball for it all right welcome to the neo-narcissism podcast hosted by emotional intelligence specialists kim and jackie of element q alongside strategic psychotherapist brad kaufman hi everyone and welcome back to the neo-narcissism podcast we are working through our traits and we are on number eight, eight of nine. And this one is all about envy. So how it's di how it is uh, listed in the DSM is narcissists are often envious of others or believe that others are envious of him or her. Can you explain the difference between envy and jealousy? Oh, sure. Yeah, because this one often comes up when we talk about this. Envy is basically looking at what you don't have wishing that you did have that whereas jealousy is you have something and you're trying to protect it so this is why in relationship we can often be jealous is because we have something we value and we fear losing that thing we value whereas envy is the complete opposite where it's like that thing out there is valued but you don't have it and so you get upset about the other person having it mm -hmm. and you don't I'm now thinking I am using the word jealous wrong. Yes, we do. We do all the time. I mean, that that's the problem with the English language. Oftentimes, we have to go straight to the dictionary, and sometimes even the dictionary doesn't do a really yeah. good distinction. So it's really understanding what the mechanisms of each of them are about. Hmm. So for us to really find the appropriate explanation or, or definition of it. So. Can you give an example of jealousy? Yeah, for instance, I mean, it, uh, you find out your significant other has had a meal with somebody else, yeah, right, of the opposite gender. And all of a sudden you have this big rise of jealousy because you're afraid you're going to lose that person you value so much or that there's some risk or a threat to that okay. in some way. Whereas envy is... Yeah, let's say somebody isn't in a relationship, but they, they're they out and they see some, somebody in a relationship and they have this like, uh, they kind of despise the fact that that person is in a happy relationship. I've even heard of people when it comes to envy looking on social media 
and oh they look so happy and they're actually angry at them for being so looking so happy happy mm. um on social media mm. i don't know if you've I seen this or heard yeah. of this mm -hmm. but that's actually very common and so when it comes to narcissism they tend to be envious of others because it looks like they have better supply right it's like oh if only i could attain that thing this is where that entitlement and expectation and everything go rises up yeah. to some degree and the more that the expectation goes up and is unfulfilled, of course, the more discontentment they experience. On the other end, if they feel judged by somebody, they'll they'll spin that and they'll say, oh, they just judge me because they're envious of me. Because they want what I have or they aren't as pretty as me or they mm -hmm. aren't as, you know, whatever it is. So, and they're constantly flipping back and forth between being envious, envious or, they're envious, of or they're envious of somebody else. Because remember, their lens is all about supply. Yeah. It's so fascinating. So every experience is going through, is going through that test, mm -hmm. right? Of, oh, are they envious of me or am I envious or should I be envious of them? Every moment. Mm -hmm. Wow. It seems that way. Yeah. It seems that way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because it's this constant judgment of, again, supply. Yeah, yeah. Mm. And then where's true? I mean, that just speaks to, to this inability to truly be happy for another person mm -hmm. and any wins or successes mm -hmm. or celebrations that they have. Mm -hmm. Like that's not, that's not in existence then if they're just coming from this filter of envy or envious. Mm. Mm -hmm. and, and they're very sensitive around this issue. This is, again, where you get exploitative behavior. Yeah. Where, well, if that person has that, what's it going to take for me to get it? And then so, also putting responsibility on the relationship, too. Like, they have that. Why don't we have that? Exactly. Yeah. Why haven't you given that to me? Well, it doesn't matter if you just come back from a nice tropic vacation. Yeah. Right? Literally, if you came back two weeks ago from a nice tropic vacation... And now that other person on social media is having this wonderful time in a tropic space, they will literally look at that and be like, Ugh, how come we, we need to plan another trip? Yeah, it's not enough. Never enough. Well, and that's where the envy comes from too, right? Yeah. A lot of times. And so this talks a lot about the show too, right? Like putting on the sort of what the external appearance should look like. Yes. Versus what's reality. Yeah. And uh, within this too, there's a real sense of competition and needing to win. Yes. Right? Again. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Again, competition is huge for the narcissist. Mm -hmm. Like almost everything is a it's competition com because mm -hmm. everything is a comparison. Mm -hmm. And two, if they can make somebody feel envious about them in some way, they're winning. Mm -hmm. And that feels great. So yeah. This is where bragging could come in. Mm -hmm. Right? Over-exaggerating achievements and accomplishments I'd so that say, you get that envy yeah i'd mm -hmm. say that one's probably more common mm. unless you're you run into a grandiose narcissist where it's like everybody knows they're yeah. just bragging and making stuff up <laughs> yeah. but you know again for those that are more covert in the way that they go about doing things they won't be as grandiose but they mm -hmm. will definitely put that exaggeration spin on something again taking that small truth and, and basing this whole story on this small truth or would you say as well that they would strategically somewhat downplay their achievements so that it forces another person they're interacting with to boost them back up again like oh, there's, oh yeah, there's that little one. trick that comes into play right it's like oh yeah no i mean you know, oh, that's not as that's not as um, fancy as you think it is, or it's not as expensive as you think it is, or it's not as whatever, right? Mm -hmm. Until somebody else like says like, oh no, but oh, you must have worked really hard to get that thing, and then they'll so they actually make instead of giving the feed to themselves, they make somebody else. They create a situation that somebody else boosts them up. Well, and it's funny. My daughter in junior high was just telling me about this the other day. She's like, there's this one girl in my class, and she. She's always saying to me, oh, you're so pretty, you're so pretty. Um, and she won't stop until, you know, my daughter says to her, well, you're so pretty too, right? Mm -hmm. And then she'll stop. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I, think, I hope that's tied yeah. into what you're saying there, right? Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess that's what they call it, right? 
Back to compliments, compliments, everybody giving compliments to mm-hmm. right. Yeah, so this is where this is where I think all this gets really tricky because they can it's not one straight line, mm-hmm. right? They can take other manipulative tactics to get to their means. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So envious of others, others envious of them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And also too, like they're not just using envy on its own. They're using all the other traits that we're going through in combination to be able to pull this all off. Mm -hmm. yeah you'll see them go to a lot of work to make sure that people will will remain envious of them to some degree like uh, again when it comes to social media they are so calculated on how they do that and of course if you're in relationship with them you have to go along with building that grandiose story Mm -hmm. and so this is why being in a relationship you end up being on the extremes too because you're just following suit unless you want to get beat down for yeah. it. I was going to say too bringing it back to the neo narcissists take on envy I think social media as you said plays a huge part in it because mm-hmm. of how you can go on there and be envious of anybody in the whole entire world mm-hmm. like the feed of that is unlimited Yeah. and on the flip side you can post anything and make it look real Mm-hmm. to get the envy for yourself as well mm-hmm. yeah it's it's so true and so of course being envious of others you know really wounds them mm-hmm. so that's where they have to use all of these other tactics and the other criteria to get them to this other position of being higher than or better than in order to feel better, better. about themselves yeah interesting yeah. So mm-hmm. ultimately, as we talk about that, we see how the criteria are are actually strategies mm-hmm. that they use in order to just feel decent in this mm-hmm. world. You know? Yeah. This one seems to feel, have a bit of like um, a cinch pin, though, that it, again, like if they're feeling envious of others, it, it creates that momentum to to create a new reality Mm -hmm. and so if you get caught up in that like it feels like that's the snowball for it all right Mm -hmm. it seems like a really key element that could switch everything really fast in in terms of like motivation in motivating yeah just or like you could be out have like Mm. you know out with the narcissist having a good time and they all of a sudden they're feeling envious and like it could switch everything instantaneously Mm -hmm. Just mm-hmm. to not feel that pain. Like, it seems like a really... I see where you're going there. You know, like a critical flip. Yes. That's a good point. When you say that, it reminds me of, you know, uh, three-year-olds sitting in the living room playing with toys. And one of them has the red ball and the other has the blue ball. And, mm-hmm. you know, one of them looks at the other and thinks... <laughs> it looks like they're having, you more, know, more yeah, fun yeah. with that one because they can't see themselves having yeah. fun with it so then they go and knock the other kid over and take that one and hopefully they're now happy and right how satisfied actually are they in the end Is yeah it's just quick so it? fast yeah. yeah but it seems to me like they could drop everything that they're doing and all the work they've put into one given situation or one moment just because they're feeling envious it feels to me like it it's a domino effect that it could all those other tactics have to come into play right in that moment to get it back mm. Mm. that's a really interesting take on that Jackie because I think I've seen that in play like once you sort of explain that yeah uh, in that way like they can be really sort of in the moment right mm-hmm. that the moment is crafted to their standards and they're having a nice time and uh, but that because that strategy and that alert is always that filter on the world is always at play they just see somebody at another table if you're out for dinner mm-hmm. um, and that situation looks whatever better in whatever way and then now their dinner is like yeah now it's the the shift in mood yeah happens immediately that's yeah. what you're what you're saying yeah mm-hmm. that's interesting mm-hmm. okay ever i've definitely seen that in play before oh yes mm-hmm. right and then this moment isn't happening anymore yeah, it's done yeah mm-hmm. and you can't recover it no mm-hmm. That's like, that feels like you're suddenly sort of pushed off a cliff, right? That you're just suddenly falling. Like you're like, what happened? Like the ground is suddenly gone, mm-hmm. right? And you're, you don't know, mm-hmm. you don't know now you're sitting there and you don't know what's actually going on in the situation. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I see where you're going with that. Yeah. Excellent point. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And anybody that's been exposed to the narcissist has had that experience. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
how quickly that can yeah. switch. Yeah, it's right. sort of like that's the seed, and then everything else grows off of that. Mm-hmm. The ripples of it is from that moment of envy. Mm-hmm. Whether or not they're even consciously aware of it or whatnot, but it's like, okay, everything's got to change. Mm-hmm. Which really has nothing to do with the moment they're actually in. No, it has nothing to do with reality. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's again, it's fantasy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, and two, I mean, in, in desperate times, I've actually seen them beat down the person they're envious of. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah. So they, they won't just try to turn it around and try to create somebody being envious of their experience. They will literally go to that person they're envious of. and yeah. I would think that would be the first, the first tactic. That's just the simplest, easiest thing to do, right? Right. Well, well okay. considering context, because mm-hmm. remember, they have to maintain this public. Mm-hmm. Oh, sure self Mm -hmm. and so as long as it doesn't make them look terrible to do that then Mm -hmm. they will do that but yeah in desperate times they will actually compromise their public image in order to try to get to that more envy level which again they hope will restore their image wow yeah it almost feels like it happens so fast they're not even aware of it Mm-hmm. Yeah, I would agree with that. Yeah. Like, they're not aware that that's what's happening. No. Right? Yeah. I wouldn't say they're like, oh, they're saying, like, mm, I feel envious of this person over here. And here's what strategies am I going to... Yeah. That's not happening. That no. internal conversation is not It's happening. a quick glance and it's happened. The story it's, happens. It's gone. Yeah. It's mm-hmm. done. Yeah. They create a story. Yeah. 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 The narcissistic narrative mm-hmm. just starts. And... Yeah. Like, so you... Just like at the dinner table example. So mm-hmm. you're having a great time. It's a beautiful meal. Whatever, every, like you said, perfectly crafted, and they see so and so has a bottle of Don Perignon and they don't have it. And then all of a sudden, everything else comes from that. <laughs> I laugh at that because it it's so close to home, but anyway. It's a personal experience there, Brad. <laughs> <laughs> Enough said. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think that's exactly what happens, right? And then they're not in reality anymore. Nope. They're in a fantasy, yeah. mm-hmm. creating a whole bunch of other stuff. You're to blame as the person with them, da 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 da. Yeah. yeah. And then if you sort of emotionally peace out of that situation, then something's wrong with you. Like, why aren't you, you know, sort of so engaged or as engaged as you were? Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So then the blame and the gaslighting. And mm-hmm. and then by the time you're home at night, then, you know, you've ruined, you, the empath has ruined the evening. <laughs> oh, of course. Yeah. Even though it had more to do with the Dom Perignon. But at the it, table but, across but, me. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. No, that, that is a good call. Right? Mm-hmm. Because you're sitting there trying to just figure out what mm-hmm. happened. And, yeah. And then, of course, it's just natural for us to personalize Mm -hmm. other people's moods, right? Mm -hmm. If somebody's off or there's a certain level of tension at the table, it's kind of like, what did I I do? And now you're sitting trying to figure it out, right? So, as usual, you don't know how to deal with something until you know what you're dealing with. We'll see you next time. Thanks for listening to this episode. If you have any comments, please leave them below. And remember to subscribe to our podcast channel and YouTube channel and share these videos with your friends and family. And please join our online community at neonarcissism.tv.